Hello, my name is Kevin McNally. I'm a PhD student at the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance. And my pr uh, research is based on a few assumptions, uh, each of which zooms a bit closer into my practice. So first is that we need to have new ways of thinking uh, about uh, mitigating the effects of global warming, ways that are far more emplaced and more embodied than the ones that are currently dominant. Secondly, that knowing place through sound provides us with an improved way of understanding our relationship to the world. And finally, that the tuning in that happens uh, via musical interaction is in fact a model for the kind of ecological awareness um, that's key to this new way of thinking. So my question is, can I apply this approach to the community music setting? And what effect does that have on my creative practice? And what effect does it have on the participants? My practice is based in West Cork with a Javanese gamelan orchestra, um, an orchestra of tuned percussion. Now, obviously, all of this is impossible now, what you're seeing. And what I'm outlining today is how I have drastically altered my practice to make what was a communal effort into a solo one that hopefully still addresses the key research concerns. As a form of acoustic knowledge, the gamelan is particularly good at embodying ideas to do with connection, interdependence and co-presence. And it does this through resonance, vibration and creating a space of mutual attunement. The perfect metaphor for the kind of enmeshed interconnectedness that characterizes our ecological existence. Without an entire, an entire orchestra to tune with, I have focused on a single instrument, the large gong. To me, it is not just an inert lump of metal, but it contains within it a complex matrix of possible sounds. We usually access it in one way by striking it with a mallet, um, but now the gong cannot fulfill its usual function and indeed we can't even touch it. But it still listens and we are still connected through sound. So the example I've recorded is a tiny fragment in which I start off playing the, uh, the guitar via transducer into the gong, which essentially becomes a speaker, except that the gong, being a handmade instrument, uh, has its own vagaries of pitch and its own will. It will sustain certain tones while suppressing others and react wildly to yet others again. So the guitar, the gong and the microphones uh, form an unstable feedback loop. This combination of microphones and transducer allows the listener to step inside the expanded acoustic world of a single gong. There are no effects in the chain. Every element of the cycle affects every other, and there's no way of predicting what consequence will eventually arise from any sonic gesture.